The search for 11-year-old Gannon Stock intensified today, but there's still no sign of the missing boy who's been gone now for 10 days. They're now searching a reservoir for any clues. Nine News reporter Mark Salinger is in Colorado Springs tonight with the latest on that search. The lights on the street where Gannon Stout lives are all blue, a show of his favorite color, with the hope that he'll soon come home and see them. As the snow continues to fall here in Colorado Springs, it's another night that the Stout family wonders where their son is. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office, with the help of Colorado Parks and Wildlife, used a special remote-controlled submarine to search a reservoir near the family's home today. The drone has sonar equipment attached to it that helps crews see if there's anything in the lake. Divers have not been called in to help, but more than 100 volunteers, four deputies on horseback, and three canine units searched for Gannon today. They searched in the same area they combed just a couple of days ago. Originally, when we were out here, we did a thorough job. However, today we're right back to doing a secondary thorough job, not because we missed anything last time. It's because there's certain equipment that we were able to get from our collaborative partners today. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office says this is still a missing endangered child case, and there are no suspects related to Gannon's disappearance. They say the investigation into the case and the efforts to find him are taking place simultaneously. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office says they've gotten 280 tips in relation to Gannon's disappearance. Yesterday we saw a crime lab in front of the house here. Tonight it's all quiet. In Colorado Springs, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News.